Hi, this is Susan Marie, and you're listening to Worship Center Radio, the platform of champions. This is Brilliant Light Ministry. I'm here to encourage you to know more of our great God's love, His light, breath, and power that will take you through anything, and also to help bring healing and deliverance wherever you need it so that you can come out on top and be all and have all God has intended for you. You hear my cry, you hear my call, and you Hello everyone, how are you today? God is good news, good news Jesus is wanting to stir you up. Praise his name. Yes, sometimes... Life comes at us a few different ways and maybe doesn't feel so good, but we just can't let those feelings get us down, right? Feelings are uh, meant to be a great thing and to express our love to God and to one another, but sometimes we're expecting one thing and then something else happens to go, hey, I don't feel so good. But guess what? We're going to have to get back into praise and worship. Even yesterday evening, I forgot all that was happening, but I wasn't feeling that great. And I, I have two elderly parents that don't feel that great. <laughs> I said, guess what? We're going to get together and we're going to praise God. And we all felt better within, you know, seven, eight minutes. It's, it's a blessing. His presence is fullness, fullness of joy. Hallelujah. So we welcome you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. And we just say, have your way today. Touch in the deepest level the people out there and heal their heart in a mighty measure. Jesus. I'm going to sing a shorter version of Your Divine Love by Susan Marie. You can look that up on YouTube when you want. Okay. Your perfect love is you and me Walking and talking eternally Your perfect love is you taking my hand Leading me into the promised land Your love is divine And your love is so kind Your love heals my heart And it gives a grand start Your love is alive and you call me your bride. You are love, you are love, you're the love of the world. Your perfect love takes away all the stains of yesterday your perfect love gives unto me yourself abundantly your love is divine and your love is so kind Your love heals my heart And it gives a fresh start Your love is alive And you call me your bride You are love, you are love You're the love of the world you are love you are love you are love you are love you're the love of my life jesus christ forevermore praise god hallelujah what do we say baptize me with your perfect love Baptize me with your perfect love. Fill me with Zoe life. Heal the depth of my soul. Restore my soul. Restore my mind. Restore my emotion. Restore my whole being. And I claim kingdom of God, fullness of God, fullness of perfect love. Right now, saturate me. Amen. Back to you in abundant measure. The perfect love of Zoe Jesus be upon you. 
upon you, fill you, heal you. Amen. So wherever we are in our walk with God, we can always get closer and richer and sweeter because there's no end to him. And he's obviously extremely amazing and intense. He's amazing. He's intense. He's a super wonder, supernatural, blessed king of heaven. You can't believe it. Oh, yeah. He made you. You know how wonderful you are. The Lord made you in his own image. You see, the biological is amazing. Then you have a mind that's amazing and a soul that can create and have those feelings and be amazing. Express yourself. And you have a will. Are you going to choose to walk with God? Are you going to choose to go astray? So what one way is the right way. Only Yahweh, Jesus Christ, is the way. He's the truth. He's the L-I-F-E life. Jesus is the way. He's the truth. He's the L-I-F-E, L-I-F-E, L-I-F-E life. Choose life, not strife. He'll take away the pain and take away the sorrow and give you life today. Zoe life. So you can walk and reign in Christ, okay? This is available for us. So we got to keep up our pace, keep up our focus, keep up our faith. Uh huh. Another favorite preacher is Bill Winston. He always says, keep walking by faith. <laughs> you don't want to just look at your circumstances, okay? Some, like I said, could be elderly, you could be having some kind of sickness, you could have financial um, challenges, but guess what? God is good news. All is possible with God. So whatever it is, it can change. Whatever doesn't look right, don't trust in man. Trust in the Lord. He is faithful. He will not let you down. Amen. So I don't know uh, how many of you are memorizing this verse, but you need to tell me and let me know, okay? I'd like to hear from you and keep me posted. If you go into Worship Center Radio and scroll down, you will see the box Brilliant Light. Click that, and you can email me, okay? I have a CD. Um, I am going to be going to to Europe this uh, this. Um, May actually, so I'm I'm trying to raise some support for that, so you can um, order a CD and show some support and encourage those around you with good gospel, uh, word of God life. Hallelujah, <laughs> praise God. So the memory verse, I do have a different version today with uh, it's it's uh, Hebrew, you know, Yahweh, the Jerusalem style. First John four fifteen through eighteen. Whoever shall confess that Yeshua is the son of Yahweh, Yahweh dwelleth in him, and he in Yahweh. And we have known and believed and relied on the love that Yahweh has toward us. Yahweh, Yahweh is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in Yahweh, and Yahweh dwelleth in you. Yahweh dwelleth in me. Just a small extension to it. Herein is love made perfect, that we may have boldness, confidence in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we. As he is, so are we. And you personalize it. As you are. Yahweh, so am I. Is he moody and depressed? Oh, no. Why are you? We are like God. Is he uh, complaining and grumbling? Oh, no. So Am I? I better not, because I am like him, as he is, so am I. We are the righteous of God. I am the righteous of God. Let's say it. I am the righteous of God. I can do all things in Christ. I am beloved of God. Hallelujah. That verse really is a wonder. As he is, so are we. Then we added 18 and 19. There is no fear. No, not there is a little there is some fear, there is no fear in love, but perfect, abundant love casts out every fear. Out. Fear is not a part of me. And insecurity is a part of fear because you're like, mm, no, fear has to go from the root. Say fear, get out. Hallelujah. Go, go, go. The blood of Jesus, the love of God casts out all fear. Perfect love because fear has torment. That fear is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. He 
first loved us, okay? So that's what we were talking on last week, that he loves us so, so, so very, very much. It's amazing and it's a wonder. So we have to look back in Jeremiah 31.3. There's certain verses that uh, are kind of well known. This is one of them. And it's a reason because it's a beautiful verse. Of course, for God so, so, so loved the world, he gave his very only beautiful, precious son to the extent of where he had to go. Not just he gave him up for a visit. No, this was a total, total surrender to the point of, of, of him becoming crushed. Oh, such pain. Terrible treatment. Whipped, stripped beaten, spat on, and this Jesus of ours never sinned once. He never said one complaint word. Did you hear me? Did he say, oh, those guys are rude? He didn't even say that. He said not one negative word, not one sin. So that's a very high standard we have in Jesus Christ, but we are going from grace to grace, glory to glory. As we know him more, walk in him more, um, the more we want to be more and more like him. And saying that about ourselves, I am the righteous of Christ. It's a truth that sparks your um, desire to keep with him more. Okay, Jeremiah 31 um, says, Verse 3, Yahweh hath, hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an ever everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. And verse 4, Again I will build thee, and thou shalt be built, O virgin of Israel. Thou shalt again be adorned with the tabrets, and shalt go forth in the dance of them that make merry. Beautiful. Praise God. So he said he loved you with a, a temporary love, with a, you know, a time limit love. No, an ever, everlasting love that will never end. Why do we get so moody, my friends? We are loved with an everlasting, ever-living love that's forever and ever. And it's the best, truest love in existence. It's in you now. Just say, I receive it. I take it. I receive it. Hallelujah. Yes, and I hope you're born again. If you didn't uh, ask Jesus, say, Lord Jesus, I believe, as it said in First John, you are the Son of God, and I believe you have rose from the dead. I receive you as my Lord and Savior, and I'm welcome to your family. Hallelujah. I'm part of the big kingdom of God, and it's the best place to be. The best thing to be a part of is the kingdom of God with eternal blessings forever and ever. Hallelujah. So he's loved you with an everlasting love and has drawn us with his loving kindness. You know, when someone does something kind to you, it touches your heart. Oh, well, that's that's part of God's love. He lives in one another, right? So his love is is beautiful. And the kindness is, um, that's what, you know, things that have been sayings, like small things, they do touch your heart. Like, oh, that was so sweet. So those are kindnesses that the Lord does to us. He knows the desires of our heart, right? And he does these things because he wants to make us happy and smile and, you know, give us a, a joy. So let him... Uh, fill your heart with special touches today. I pray, touch those children, Lord. Touch them. Bless them with some special kindness this week in the name of Jesus. Okay, so he loves us, and he, he gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him will not perish, but have ever everlasting life. So important. So because he loves us, what did we say last week? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Yes, indeed. Deuteronomy, the beginning of the Bible there, and verse, chapter 6, verse 5 is coming right up. Deuteronomy 6, 5 says... Okay, 4 and 5. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh, our Elohim, is Yahweh a unity. And thou shalt love Yahweh, thy Elohim, with 
all thine heart, all thy soul, and with all thy might. These words which I command this day shall be in thy heart. They stay in your heart, and you teach them to your children. So we said, what? Your heart, the core of the middle of your being, the very essence of who you are. I love you, God. I love you, God. That's my car, my heart cry. I love you, Lord. How can I please you today, Lord? Woo How can I serve you, Lord? Thank you. With your with your might, your energy, your strength, helping and and even dancing for joy up and down. Praise be to God. Glory be to the King of Glory. Hallelujah. And with your affections, you adore him. Oh, my precious Jesus, how I love you. Precious Jesus, how I love you. And you do that. Then what does it say? Keep on loving him. Keep on being strong. And then we look in chapter chapter 14 of the book of John. Verse, verse 14 and 15, even though there's maybe so much of it is very nice. Um, so I could bounce around. I'm looking at 13. Whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And 14. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. So those verses are saying you can ask anything, and the Lord said he will do it, that he may glorify the Father. What do you think is behind him wanting to do what you want? What do you think is the reason he wants to do that? Do you have any idea over there? No? <laughs> I think it's because he loves you. Otherwise, why would he tell you? I'll give you the desires of heart. Ask what you will. Once we're in him, we love him. We mainly want what's right. Sometimes we could get a little off track. So we just say, Lord, if anything I want isn't of you, take it out. I say, from the root, by the Holy Ghost, fire. And purify me with your fire and the blood of Jesus. So whatever we want, God desires to bless us. He's like the king on the hill. He's got it all, and he has such abundance, he can bless each one of us. No limit. Woo! Let's hear it for the mighty everlasting king. Yay, Jesus! Rich dad, sweetheart, hero and husband, healer of my heart. So he first says he wants to give us what we want, but then... The next verse 15 says, If ye love me, keep my commandments. So if we're saying the first command is to love the Lord our God, how do we show we love it? Okay, by keeping what he says, keeping his commandments. In the other version, keep his word. And his word is full of good news. Everything, everything he says to do is for everybody's benefit. Because we are a body. Remember, we are one body. We're not supposed to be separate islands everywhere, but we come together. When I do my part, it helps you. When you do your part, you help your neighbor and you help me. And um, so we have to remember to love one another. And um, somehow uh, our, our, our culture can be a little on the self-centered. And I have been a little self-centered, too. I don't mean it. God, deliver me from self-centered. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Help us be more like Jesus. It's really happier. It's really happier. It takes a little discipline and training, and that's what we need. So we decree more discipline, deny flesh, walk in the Spirit, walk in love, walk in life, and be the vessel of gl glory and honor that God has you to be because it's most fulfilling. They're also having this called His Kingdom. Love Detroit, Michigan. This is the city I'm born in. Yes. And it's April 16th to the 24th. They're going to be doing 24-7 worship and evangelism. I think you can look it up. LoveDetroit247.com if you want to know more about that. Don't forget, check out the website and order a CD. Even order one for your friends and young people because they will get carried on. That music is in their heart. Eternal blessings. And help support me on my next mission. I love you and bless you. And don't forget, God is not through blessing you, you and you. <laughs>
you for listening today i hope that you really got built up and are going to go forth in more joy and power than ever before please uh listen in again next week at 4 30 thursday and also you know with this wonderful website you can tune in whenever it's convenient for you worshipcenterradio.net i'd like to thank juan here rhoda and blaine for allowing me to come and give good courage to you <laughs> also I have a website called WorshipJesusSuperShop.com and you can find all of your favorite books, CDs, and even we have shoes and kitchen small appliances. So take a look. I bet you'll find something you really like. Always remember God is with you and have a wonderful day.